Uh, Bess Claire Nick Weston uh, by male now going for gender reassignment uh, I've been through a lot of years where I've hidden away and put my family first uh, to give them the upbringing they needed and protection they needed uh, it's been hard, it's been a long, long path and last year I had to make the decision to move on with my life and now I just feel totally at ease with myself, I feel fantastic, I feel, yeah, life is worth living uh, and I just really start to enjoy my life now. Uh, I've got so many good friends uh, who were brilliant with me. Uh, I really do just enjoy life. And what else can I say? It's just fantastic, you know. I just can't believe, you know, you can have so much fun and so much enjoyment out of life, you know. Uh, it's a whole new chapter in my life and mm. uh, um, I, I just really do enjoy it yeah. you know on the 24th of July 2008 I changed my name from Nigel Weston to Nikki Jane Weston uh, in August of 2008 I left the family home to set up on my on my own so I can be the person who I should have been born at birth uh, it was what we bought it was what I had to do for both uh, our own happiness both for Michelle and myself, you know, you, you've just got to, you know, you just couldn't live anymore a lie, so to speak. You know, we both have to find happiness. Michelle has to find happiness and I have to find happiness. And this is the only way forward, you know. And I hope one day, you know, she will find it in her heart to be just a friend, I hope. You know, I know there's so much going on this year between us that I know there's so much hurt going on and I hope all the best to her and I hope she feels the same way about me. It started uh, when I was seven and it continued up to the age of 16 until my sister left. That dressing as a, yeah. The dressing, it just felt so right. It just felt, yeah, why am I not a female? You know, why, you know, why am I trapped in this body? Why was I given this body? You know, why I didn't have a female body? And it used to tear me apart inside that you think, I'm gone, you know, why can't I wear, you know, the clothes that the females, the girls are wearing? And that's what hurts so much sometimes, you know. And as you grow older, you get stronger, the feelings become stronger and stronger until they actually push you to a point where you've got to make that decision of becoming who you want to be, you know. And that's, I really do enjoy it. I love my clothes, I love my makeup, I love my shoes, you know, I love my hairstyles. And it's me. And people say to me, wow, you look really happy. I am happy. I'm at peace with myself at last. You know, in 45 years of being on this planet, I just feel at total ease with myself now.
and hopefully this this interview will help other people or ordinary people out there that don't understand it. At the end of the day, we don't just wake up one morning and say, right, I want to be a female. It isn't like that. It's how we're born, who we are, you know. And it must be hard for people to understand how we feel because they're not living it. But the people that are living it, you know, do, you know, understand what they've got to go through, how they hide away, you know. And it's not fair to them that people outside, their families or anybody, anybody like that, should criticise them, you know. I feel as though, why? Why have they got the right to criticise somebody else for doing what they want to do?